Good afternoon, parents, families, and friends. Welcome to the 89th annual commencement ceremony of Klamath Union High School. I am Tony Swan, principal at Klamath Union. It is my honor to be with you as we celebrate KU's graduating class of 2018. Joining me on the stage, Lots of applause today, please. These guys deserve it. Joining me on the stage today are City School Superintendent Dr. Paul Hillier, school board members Mr. Bill Jennings, Mr. Mike Moore, and Mr. Michael Amos, and KU Director of Student Services, Mrs. Tony Kellum. On behalf of our schooling community, thank you for your service and your support of the families and students of Klamath Falls. At this time, I would like to take a moment to thank two very special groups of people who have been essential to the accomplishments of this senior class. First, I'd like to thank and honor the parents and families who have raised these students through approximately 18 years of challenges, heartache, joy, and triumphs. At times, I'm sure like it felt like it would last forever, but today, I'm certain we can all agree, it went by way too fast. We are honored that you entrusted your sons and daughters to us at Klamath Union, and we congratulate you as well on this special day. Seniors, the parents who raised you were critical in what you have accomplished thus far, and they deserve your love and your thanks. If you are a senior parent, guardian, or caregiver, please stand and let us recognize you for this tremendous achievement. <laughs> Job well done. Next, I would like to recognize the outstanding faculty of Klamath Union the teachers, counselors, and support staff who have provided the lessons, the tutoring, the coaching, and yes, the nagging harassment that has resulted in the well-educated seniors we will honor today. As they enter together, please join me in thanking the KU faculty for the countless hours invested in these young men and women. Now, I ask as they enter in, please stand and remain standing for the presentation of the colors by the Kingsley Field Honor Guard and the singing of our national anthem by the Klamath Union Chamber Choir. Stripes and 
no, sorry. Wait till the color guard leaves. Thank you, Chamber Choir and Color Guard. You are welcome to be seated. As we prepare for the entrance of today's graduating seniors, I want to acknowledge several accomplishments of this senior class. Despite the obvious physical and emotional challenges of enduring three years of KU remodel construction on campus, they have persevered and continue to accomplish amazing achievements. Within our class of 2018, there are seniors who represent the first high school graduate in their family's history. There are seniors who represent the first graduate to go on to college in their family's history. There are seniors who will represent KU and Klamath Falls and attend colleges and universities throughout Oregon and across this great nation. As well as Oregon, several KU seniors will be continuing school in New York, Utah, Texas, South Carolina, Hawaii, Idaho, Kansas, California, Nevada, Washington, and Michigan. This year's senior class has earned nearly $1 million in scholarship money. In this year's graduating class, we have a senior who is a National Merit Scholar another who is a commended National Merit Scholar, and a student who was awarded an Air Force ROTC scholarship. To these and all KU seniors, you make us proud. In honor of these graduates here today, parents, grandparents, relatives, and friends, Please rise for the procession of the class of 2018.
Seniors, you may now be seated. Now I would like to invite senior class president Tucker St. Clair to please come forward. Good evening, classmates, faculty, family, friends, and most of all, class of 2018. We have trudged through this year with immense cases of senioritis and extremely high excitement for today, and now we're finally here celebrating our achievements wearing our finest wizard robes and rectangle hats. To be honest, I even woke up this morning in disbelief telling myself there's no way graduation is today. Wasn't Ponderosa like last week? <laughs> we are now prepared to go into the fabled real world that we have heard everyone talking about, where we will be dividing polynomials, analyzing poetry, and identifying mitochondria. You know, the things adults do, right? <laughs> We made it through high school without a school and while still keeping a good attitude about it. Despite the construction, I think we have found KU to be very homey, maybe a little drafty though. <laughs> we have learned that if you're gonna be late to class that you may as well go and get food and yes, you should spend those last $5 on your debit card on subpar Mexican food. We've all been that hungry. Most of all, congrats for beating all of the odds and not dropping out after those 20 times you told yourself, what, you, told yourself you would. <laughs> These brutally long yet nostalgically short four years have brought us all every kind of emotion we can think of and it has taught us how to mature, at least that's what we like to tell ourselves. I have found these past four years to be fantastic getting to know people. Some of you I wish I knew better, others I wish I didn't know as much about. <laughs> you should never be comfortable enough with someone to have them ask you, does yogurt have an expiration date? And then you have to reply, hey, yeah, you're probably fine. But even with the weirdos that I know too well, the sense of togetherness that our class has is something that I love about KU. Even though some of us may not have gotten along, in the end, we're all able to celebrate the great things we can do together. Whether it's any of the sporting, any of the sporting events we attend and cheer at, or the day we all decide to cut class. So, if there's one thing you can take from this, know that the legacy you left here was important. Not the legacy, perhaps, of good grades, popularity, but the legacy of the fantastic relationships that you made with everything else, because those are the things that matter. As Prince once said, life is just a party, and parties weren't meant to last. And I think that can apply for high school, too. It was fun while it lasted, but we've all got the great things to go and do. And if there's one class that can do well, it's going to be ours. So, class of 2018, congratulations. I wish you all the best of luck, and thank you for everything. Thank you, Tucker. Now it is time to hear a few words of wisdom from several of Klamath Union's brightest students. With us today are seven valedictorians, students who have maintained a perfect 4.0 GPA, and our salutatorian who made it through high school with all A's and only one B. These students not only represent our highest GPAs, but they have each earned the KU Honors Diploma by taking our most challenging courses in English literature, mathematics, science, languages, and the arts. They truly represent academic excellence. Our speeches will begin with our salutatorian, who will then introduce the next student speaker. It is my pleasure to introduce to you salutatorian Tia Thompson. Is this good? Okay. Okay, chill with the beach balls, all right? Don't get too crazy. All right. Four years ago, I started going to Clam at the Union High School. Three years ago, I started going to Clam at the Union, land of the portables. <laughs> no, honestly, it wasn't that bad. Uh, they made a lot of progress here. Uh, no, but I honestly can't wait to see what they do once they remove the trailers. Um, maybe I can't wait to see what the new uh, school looks like, you know, when they've finished all their little finishing touches on the remodel. And I really can't wait to see what they, what they finish building over there by the end of the track, unless they've already finished it. Can't tell, really. Uh, let's see. Well, 
You know what? I know it's been rough for all of us. Staff too. I just want to thank everybody that stayed. KU didn't transfer, didn't go to the county. Honestly, you guys, if you survived KU, you can do anything. It only gets easier from here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you our, oh wait, hold on, that's wrong. Okay. It is my pleasure to introduce to you valedictorian Andrew Trupesky. There you go. Right here? Yeah. Sweet. You know, on the 18th of December, 1944, um, the 101st Airborne Division was assigned to defend the town of Bastogne. The, it was an emergency when they did, and so the soldiers had to go out with limited winter equipment. They were just wearing their summer uniforms, and they had to stay in the cold for weeks on end. Now, it hasn't been this bad so far, but I think we're getting a bit of a taste just standing out here right now. Anyways, I'd like to start off by thanking my family for being here, especially my grandparents for making the trip. Grandpa Cherpesky, I'm, thank I'm thankful for your last name. It really provides me with the opportunity to go first. It's really awesome, the alphabet's great. So, most of us began high school here on the 2nd of September, 2014. I remember that because it is the 69th anniversary of the end of World War II. <laughs> now, what I most cherish from that day up till now is the relationships that I've made, the friends that I've had, and that, that I've gotten to know. I remember meeting Craig Ronnie that first day. He was a lot shorter than he is now. I was going to thank him for being such a great friend today, but he's not here, so instead I'm going to call him out for missing graduation. <laughs> I remember sophomore year in Mr. Robo's class. We became comrades there. Josh, Michael. It was a great experience. <laughs> oh, I've enjoyed my high school and I'm really glad for all of that. Josh, I'd especially like to thank you. You've been an excellent friend these last three years. Now, I've, I've been a bit more sentimental recently because high school's ending and there's been last things that have kept coming up. My last math team, last day of school, graduation, knowing that I'm not going to see a lot of you in the future. And, and at times that's a bit intimidating. Um, but one thing I've really thought of recently, I've been, you know, because I've been very sentimental, is something that happened right before my, my freshman year. See. I wasn't as uh, muscular as I am now. And so, while I was visiting a friend in Colorado, he invited me to work out with him. I thought, sure, I'll do it. And so, there I was, lifting weights, 10 pounds on the bar on each side. I was pretty happy with myself. And then I had this friend who was a few years older than me. He came in and he said, Andrew, what are you doing? You can lift way more than that. And so he put on probably like 25 more pounds on each side, and I freaked out. But he spotted me, and I did it. I did several reps, surprisingly. I didn't expect to be able to. What he told me at the end, though, is something that stuck with me. He said, you're stronger than you think you are. So keep that in mind. That's the message I want to leave with all of you. We're, we've had a lot of endings. We've had a last day of school. We're graduating today, but we have a future ahead of us, a future of firsts. And so remember, you're a lot stronger than you think you are. And if you ever have a time where you don't think you can accomplish something, remember, I stood in front of a stage of 700 people from Mr. Pelican, and I did math. So if you don't think you can do that, then you can do anything, because I've done that. Thank you. I would now like to introduce my fellow valedictorian, Corey Delgado.
Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming. I know it means a lot to the students to see you here supporting them on, and so what, on what is both the last step they will take as a student and the first step they will take into something much greater. Bernice Johnson Reagan once said, life's challenges are not supposed to paralyze you. They're supposed to help you discover who you are. Everyone sitting here in front of me today knows that this wasn't easy. High school has been full of challenges, some big, some small. Whether it be a difficult class you took or the loss of someone you thought would always have it in your life, you didn't make it through this unscathed. Some days may have been harder than others, but no matter what might have happened, each one of you did decided to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and keep going. No matter what life threw at you, you were able to push through it and get yourself to this point. When someone says congratulations, they are not simply saying good job, you graduated. They are telling you how proud they are that you stuck with it and made it this far. They are saying how strong you are as a person for being able to push through everything that has happened the past four years in order to reach this goal. They are saying that whether people believed in you or not, that you made it. And above all else, you should be proud of yourself. Take this moment to sit down and breathe. You deserve a break. But take a look around you as well. Look around at all the friends and family you have here with you today and remember this. You've made it through one of your biggest challenges in life, but your next one is about to begin. As you go through your adult life, you'll find a lot more difficulties than you originally anticipated. You may have a difficult class you have to take in order to complete your major. You may lose touch with a friend that has been with you your entire life. You may find yourself in this position, but from the other side watching your own son or daughter graduate and trying to figure out how to let them go. No matter what it is, all these people that are here for you today are going to be there for you every step of the way. Even if they don't say it, know that they care about you and they are cheering you on. You've started to do this already, but you're about to really discover who you are. Everything you've gone through and are about to go through is not meant to scare you away. It's meant to show you that there's more to life than what's on the surface. You have to realize that it's okay to struggle and it's okay to change. As you begin to discover who you are and what you need, don't be afraid to make big changes in your life to better yourself. Don't be afraid to admit you need help. Everyone knows it's hard, but everyone knows you'll get through it and you will succeed. So go ahead, enjoy these last few moments of freedom. Relax, take some time for yourself. But when the time comes, jump into your life and take control. Try new things, see new places. Do whatever you need to on your path to success. Because you will succeed. You will achieve greatness. You will be the best version of you that you can be. Just remember who's here for you, and if you need a little help along the way, for now, sit back and be rewarded. Feel important, because you are. And just imagine, you've made it this far. Just how far will you go? How much will you see? What all will you achieve? It's all up to you to decide. It doesn't stop here. There's so much more out there for you, but it's up to you to go find it. Thank you. I would now like to introduce valedictorian Audrey Lindgren. Good evening, everyone. I'm honored to have the opportunity, sorry, to speak to all of you tonight. This is going well. Oh my. Anyways, I've looked forward to this moment for years since I saw my brother give an address at his graduation in 2014. However, I'm not going to be giving the speech that I had built up in my head because I hated some parts of high school and I decided to use this platform to talk about all the things that made me feel lonely, stressed, scared, anxious. I thought it would somehow fix these things by forcing you to recognize them. I thought I could speak the truth about how high school isn't always happy or fun, about how sometimes it feels like eternal damnation. But I believe that over the past four years, I've grown wiser. I now see that for every time I cried, there was somewhere there to offer support and wipe away my tears. Every time I gave in and thought there was no way I could go on, someone pulled me up, dusted me off, and told me that I was good enough. High school was a struggle. It always is. But so is life. And these last four years have taught me that the only truly important things in your life are people. While I cannot thank individually every person that has impacted me, I have some incredibly special people that I would like to mention tonight. Thank you, Dad, for teaching me that I'm strong enough to overcome any challenge and for working together with me in all kinds of weather. Thank you, Mom, for showing me how to love my imperfections and for teaching me that they are what make me human. Thank you to my brother, Nelson, for being an example of how courage isn't always recognized, 
and that real courage is living every day in the best way that you can. Thank you, Lizzie Brown, for showing me that true love really does exist and that it is precious, so you need to cling to it each and every day. Thank you, Nora Rooney, because even though you can't be here tonight, you've proven that true friendship overcomes any and all distance. Thank you, Annika Warrington, for always reminding me to smile, even when I never thought I would again. You're my guardian angel in disguise. And last, but never ever least, thank you, Tana Rose, for being living proof that sometimes the right people come into your life at the wrong time, and for teaching me that someone who will always make you laugh is someone worth fighting for. And thank you to all of you, anyone, teachers, parents, peers, that have touched my life. You are what have made my journey meaningful. I hope that we will all take this time of transition to look back and thank those people that have shaped us. Good luck, class of 2018. It has been my privilege to grow up alongside you. I'd now like to introduce my friend and fellow valedictorian, Todd Donnelly. Windy. <laughs> All right, good evening. I've been thinking about this speech for the past four years and all the things that I want to say in it, but I was never really good at expressing myself with words. Music has been the driving force in my life for as long as I can remember. I had a drum set and a keyboard when I was four, when I was four years old, and I spent so many hours just making noise, I'm surprised my parents didn't sell the instruments on the spot. I'm glad they didn't. <laughs> When I joined band in the fifth grade, I actually wanted to play the violin, but my school held a, mu a music encouragement concert thing for students to be exposed to different instruments. And at this mini concert, a man named Mr. White played the Mario theme song on the clarinet, and I thought it was so cool because my brothers and I played Mario together. It was quality bonding time for us. Now, I brought my clarinet on stage with me today because I would not have gotten through life, let alone high school, without it. This clarinet has pushed me to be successful, so it's only right that I have it with me right now. Now I know what you're all thinking, she's gonna play the Mario theme song, but I won't. <laughs> I will be playing a melody of a song that helped me decide that I wanna go into music with my future. The song is called Corral and Shaker Dance, and I played a simplified version in seventh grade and it changed my life forever. The original melody comes from Aaron Copeland's Appalachian Spring, and it's just a beautiful melody, so here we go. Hopefully it doesn't blow away. <laughs> life because of video games or books or television shows or maybe friends and family and while all of those things helped me get somewhere I wouldn't have got anywhere without music so thank you to my brothers for playing video games with me helping me choose clarinet and supporting me thank you to mr. white for inspiring me to play the clarinet and everything you've done for me for the past two years thank you to my friends for making band the best class for the past eight years of my life Thank you to all of my music teachers, Mr. Harrington, Mr. Langley, Mr. Butts, Mr. Aker, and Mr. White for sharing the gift of music with me. And thank you to the Klamath Falls City Schools for keeping music programs alive in Klamath Falls. I could not be more grateful for the people in this town that fight for music, music programs, and, and music programs get caught all around the country because of budget cuts. And our school district keeps music alive and values our programs, so thank you for that. Finally, I want to thank my parents for letting me make hours of awful noise in the house on the drum set and keyboard, for supporting me for my entire life and journey with music, and allowing me to pursue my dreams and go into music, and just for letting me be myself. Thank you. I would now like to introduce the wonderful valedictorian, Christina Mueller.
congratulations. Here we are. We've made it. Blah, blah, blah. T <laughs> to be honest, no pile of fluffy, feel-good filler can amount to the time and effort that each of us have put in to be able to sit here today. However, there is one thing that has worked harder, an invention older than the technology at KU has taken even more of a beating than our sleeping schedules and been there every step of the way. Our shoes. Let's give a big shout out to our shoes for carrying us down these halls, I mean sidewalks, for the last four years. You see, shoes are not only a fashionable accessory, but also functional and practical. Hiking boots are made for hiking, cleats and spikes for sports, tennis shoes for running, cowboy boots for riding, construction boots for construction work. Maybe KU needs to invest in some of those. Our shoes reflect what we spend our lives doing. Whether you wear Nikes, high heels, Converse, or Crocs, be confident in your style and who you are. Stay true to your passions and never be ashamed to be yourself. When you have a pair of shoes that pinch or cause blisters, you change the shoes that don't fit. As you go through life, you will find friends and have jobs that don't quite fit you. You wouldn't keep walking around in the same uncomfortable shoes. Maybe not right away, but eventually make that change so that you aren't miserable. Because life does not always have to be miserable. This year, a new pair of shiny leather shoes walked through our halls, I mean sidewalks. Mr. Swan, though our time together has been short, I know that myself and many others appreciate the time and effort that you have put in, and I am certain that the, KU, the future of KU is in good hands. Graduates, we will not wake up tomorrow for the first time as high school graduates and magically figure out the rest of our lives. Life is unpredictable. All I can say is that in whatever you do, whether you're going to college, into the military, into the workforce, or going to a vocational school, Always put your best foot forward and always be the best that you can be in everything that you do. <sighs> Sorry, wind, hard to breathe. So, <laughs> but don't forget to fall head over heels in love along the way, like I have. Take the time to walk in someone else's shoes, go off the beaten path every once in a while, every once in a while and when life knocks you down, You've got to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. One thing that we all have in common is that we are all come from different walks of life. After today, we will continue down different paths, but KU will forever mark where our paths have crossed. We've left our footprint here and left big shoes for the next class to fill. From this goody two-shoes honor student to the Klamath Union High School class of 2018, go out and knock the world's socks off. And next, I have the honor to introduce my fellow valedictorian, Cassandra Shee. You ever try to give like a speech with a cat toy in front of your head? So, um, good evening, honored guests, administration, teachers, friends, family, and of course, class of 2018 or as I like to call us, class of Gen Z, except we don't eat Tide Pods. Since a lot of you didn't see me at all last year, and for not much of this year, I'd like to take this chance to introduce myself. My name is Cassandra She. Some of you have known me as Cass. First of all, uh, I'd like to thank the Academy. Just kidding. Anyways, now on to the motivational words that I wrote in a very senioritis way 12 hours before this speech was due. For, to start off, I'd like to congratulate my fellow classmates for getting to this significant point in our lives. A lot of you may be thinking, we've made it. However, I don't think that we have. I think that we've barely even scratched the surface of our potential. For the past 13 years, we've had a routine of going to school Monday through Friday, and I guess you could say we've had our daily lives figured out for the most part. Now we're starting to think seriously about what we're going to do with the rest of our lives. But it's really tough to figure this out. I know we're all tired of everyone asking us, what are you going to do after graduation? 
And my advice for all of us, including myself, is just to go out and try things out. Don't be afraid to do something that you would never have tried before. Two years ago, I would have honestly been too scared to give a speech in front of hundreds of people today. I used to be really quiet and afraid of standing out. Like, I don't know, I think I maybe spoke like three complete sentences at most to people outside of my friend group during freshman and sophomore year. And now look at us this year, we're at a whopping four complete sentences now. Just kidding. But then I tried something new out of my comfort zone, studying abroad in Belgium for my junior year. By being able to reinvent myself somewhere where no one where no one knew who I was, I learned that I should live life for myself and not care about what other people thought about me. Through this, I've learned so much that I didn't know about myself before. There's no reason for us to be afraid and hide behind who we think we are. I mean, we all die in the end anyways. I'd like to thank everyone who has lifted us up to this point, family, friends, and teachers. Now it's up to us to take control and explore what we can do because I promise you, you can do so much more than you think. So let go of who you are now for who you can become. Thank you. You wanna introduce the next person? Uh, now I'd like to introduce our class speaker, Robert Jackson. Actually, she did, she did the right thing. <laughs> Let me say this about Robert. Our last speaker today is a young man with a truly great heart, as well as a great mind. Chosen by his classmates to speak on their behalf, please join me in listening to a bit of advice and encouragement from Klamath Union's own Robert Elliott Jackson. <laughs> I can't wait to put this tassel on the left side. It keeps hitting me in the face. You know, I still can't believe that we're all here, standing right here, the class of 2018, about to graduate. I, I still can't, I, it's just like it's a dream right now. And it's just, it's just a really great feeling. Helping another person is never a bad thing to do. Picking up a person on their feet and then putting them on solid ground is always a good feeling. It's rewarding not only for you, but also the person you helped because the person has that opportunity to become successful. Throughout my schooling experience, I've helped many people in many different ways, from getting a grade up to giving them the courage to ask their crush to a dance. I have found in myself that I love to be there for people. I love to support people. I love doing things that benefit other people and even possibly inspiring them in some way. I love to watch people succeed in life, jumping through the hurdles, and high school is one of those hurdles. I can truly say that high school is a lot harder than I thought, and I have no doubt that some people can attest to that. Ultimately, it was up to each and every one of us individually to take on that challenge and get through the requirements to earn our diplomas. We also had each other to demand on that encouragement and support. Just saying, you can do it, or you're almost there, can go a long ways for someone. It's always good to receive help, even if it's a tiny little nudge towards the right direction. Take a second to think about the people that got you where you are today. Teachers, family, your friends, coaches, and even idols. We should all be thankful to the people that gave us that helping hand, showed us the door to success. Because by golly, the class of 2018 is gonna do great things for this community, and possibly the whole country, because we know how to bounce back from difficult times, stressful situations, and we are happy to help those in need. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Robert. Senior band members at this time, please join your colleagues in the band section for this one last performance.
The Battle Hymn of the Republic was written in 1861 as songwriter Julia W. Howe overlooked the ranks of Union Army soldiers camped near Washington, D.C. For many years since, this hymn has been a traditional part of graduation ceremonies across the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, the Klamath Union High School Symphonic Band performing the Battle Hymn of the Republic.
now time for what has brought us all here on this memorable June evening. It is, it is my privilege and, and honor to call, to call the roll of the class of, the class of 2018. Each senior here today has completed the requirements of a four-year four high school education, education program, program that is recognized by the state of Oregon. Oregon. And they, and will, they receive will receive their certificate, certificate with the with traditional, traditional red Klamath Union diploma, diploma cover as they cross, cross the stage. stage. Superintendent, Superintendent Hillier, Mrs. Kelmer, and members, and members of the board, board as I as call, I call the roll, will, will you please, please present, present the diploma? The diploma. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew Patrick, Patrick Cherpesky. Corey Deanna, Deanna Delgado. Delgado. Zoe, Zoe Help. Help. Audrey, Audrey Michelle, Michelle Lindgren. Lindgren. Tatjana Juliet Laura Luce. Christina Patricia Mueller. Cassandra Ling Shi. Tia Thompson. Sean Tucker St. Clair. Robert Elliot Jackson. Emma Lynn Blake. <laughs> Timothy Lee Chen. <laughs> Sally Agnes Clark. <laughs> Marina <laughs> Teresa Connedy. Michael Thomas Ferns. Joshua Michael Gady. William Owen Griffith. Caden Joe Hensley. True DeWis Herrera. Helen Muriel Knudsen. Maxwell James McAtee. Jessica Nicole Reed. Lyndon Nam Wally. Garen Renee Miller. Bethany Marie 
land. Andrew Covington Abel. <laughs> Hannah Maricela Aguirre Burke. <laughs> Anna Vanessa Alvarez Torres. <laughs> Savannah Noel Anderson. Luke Austin Arnold. Felicima Dora Blackington. Miranda Brooke Brummels. Dane Barner Budden. Rose Marie Bybee. Rebecca Ray Caldwell. Samuel Jerome Carter. Hannah Lynn Kerr. Desiree Brianne Surreal Hernandez. Nicole Benarita Kaufman. Scott Allen Coleman. Justice Ray Compton. Samuel Clay Corley. Sarah Michael Cox. Kenneth Samuel Crowell. Michael John Danzer the third. Lauren Elena Evans. <laughs> Amanda Michelle Eves. Daniel Grant Mac. Mahon Fallon. That's a lot of name in there, buddy. Sean Michael Fleming. Juan Lorenzo Garcia Silva. Corinne Grace George. Julian Lee George. Matthew Joseph Getman. Martha Angela Gomez Cerillo. Natalia Lizette. Gutierrez. Alexis Mabel Hagen Terry. Habaka Andrew Harris. Ready to go. What do I need this for? Tyler Thomas Heaton. 
Destiny Ann Hendrick. Daniel Alejandro Hernandez. Jesus Rafael Hernandez Galvan. Joshua Daniel Hernandez Perez. Thomas Edward Herwander. Anthony James Hobbs. Shady Marie Ivy. Paul William Jennings. Amy Lee Kaiser. Ayana DeRay Lover. Bryce Ann Lover. Sarah Nicole Legg. Trevin Austin Lilly. Congratulations, Trevin. Alex Lippins. Congratulations, Alex. Brian Alexis Lopez Rodriguez. Alfredo Luna Garcia. Hunter Joseph Magnin. Sophia K. Martinez. Brendan Christopher McDonald. Mateus J. McLaughlin. Alejandra Elena Mendez. Giselle Elizabeth Mendez Ledesma. Yaneli Anai Mendez Lindesma. Michelle Mendoza Ruiz. Curtis John Mick. David Middleton. Jacob Anthony Meir. Raven Alicia Mitchell. Tyler George Moore. Emily Morales. Joshua Robert Mooring. Jared Luke Morris. Matthew Adam Murdoch. Michaela Ann Lupe Nehar.
Teresa Neverett Paseno. Kimberly Ann Northrop. Hector Manuel Orozco. Daniel Junior Ortega Barrio. Rogelio Pantoa Govea. Jose Suarez Pena. Alexander Morgan Phelps. Joshua Edmund Player. Justin Eric Player. Jasmine Alexis Ramirez. Alan Guillermo Ramirez Orozco. Eli Dean Riddle. Rogelio Roger Rojas Hernandez. Isabel Grace Rudd. Carla Yareli Ruelas Rangel. Amelia Rose Rach. Charles Bundang Sanico. Breeze Irene Scott. Chloe Florine Smith. Mackenzie Forrest Spangler. Holly Laura Tate. Lily Beth Taylor. Tiffany Nicole Thompson. Mark Dean Uliberry Jr. Kelsey Alia Villapando. Dylan Owen Walker. <laughs> Watch that step. Annika Kate Warrington. Jasmine Michelle Whitney. Faye Valkyrie Diane Wilbur. Tyler James Yates. Olivia Francis Yoder. Grant, switch. Maria Del Refugio Landon. And always last but never least, Grant Terrence Eason. Finally, 
Class of 2018, from all of us at Klamath Union High School, we wish you success in your future and that you may always err in the direction of compassion and kindness to others in all that you do. And now I will turn the microphone over to Tucker St. Clair to lead our final graduation ceremony tradition. Class of 2018, please rise. You guys ready? <laughs> At this time, please switch your tassel from the right to the left side of your cap. We are now officially graduating. They're gonna wait for the band, I think. Yeah, they go. Um Parents, I would like to remind graduates to return the rented graduation gowns to the collection bins located at the end near Modoc Bridge as they leave this evening. Please feel free to come down onto the field now and join your graduates and enjoy in the celebration. <laughs> 